Hi guys and welcome back to my Toot and Boot series and for this week's episode I'm going to be tooting and booting the looks from the characters outfits from the greatest showman girl. So we have Zac Efron, we have Hugh Jackman, oh my god I'm so excited. So without further ado let's get on with it tooting and booting. So starting us off with Hugh Jackman's character of P.T. Barnum, the main character of the film, and this is when he's in his red Circus Masters outfit towards the end of the film. He's got his crew together, it's all working well for him. I love the top hat, seriously, the red with the gold, it's such a classic look, seriously. Obviously it's what we know now as like a classic look for that era, and it just looks so cool. I'm starting this off with a shoot. As much hate as the character is given in the film, and people don't think he's going to make it, and don't support him, that kind of thing, obviously... It just looks incredible. He's just owning it. He's a boss. Seriously, killing it. And he just he just looks incredible. Seriously, that smile. Oh my god, so handsome. Seriously, I live for this look. Oh my god, he's got the cane. Perfect circus master. Seriously, like I say, absolute shoot. Living for it. Next we have his wife Charity Barnum and this look is from the tightrope song when she performs that in the film and it's a cute look. I would say a toot. It's kind of obviously like like pastel blue and pink with a sort of mesh scarf type thing. She's very like obviously not so happy, very sombre. She's got like a blonde hair. It's cute. It's a toot. I wouldn't say it's anything crazy. Like there's some really good outfits in this film to come so I would give it a toot. Next we have Jenny Lind and not to put her on a podium above charity but yeah girl seriously that performance of never enough and the dress is a shoot what else can we say seriously it must you must know this dress by now suit the detail on it oh my god it's so elegant chic she is beautiful it fits her personality her character her look so well oh my god God. Seriously, it is so big, long, flowy at the bottom. The silhouette. It's like a princess silhouette. Seriously. Oh my god. It's like Princess Rosalina from Super Mario, but like with ginger hair instead. It's like a mixture of Daisy and Rosalina. Oh my god. Absolute shoot. I just live for her. Next we have Letty, also known as the Bearded Lady. And like, I get the point is that she's supposed to be like one of the freaks and fits in with the circus and that's the whole point and the outcasts that kind of thing and so obviously the outfit put together for her is to fit that character and description which is why it's not a very nice outfit personally just my opinion so this is a straight up boot I can't with this look seriously I'm not a fan of the fit the ruffles it's just it's oh my god seriously it's very um gypsy bride when it's just over the top and like absolutely bad taste horrible hideous sorry to use those words but yeah absolute boot she is killing it in the film she looks great as the character and her personality and her like just everything that she does in the film is just incredible but the look is just it's right for the character, but it's a boot for me in terms of a look. Would anyone else be wearing that dress? I don't think so. Next we have my boyfriend, Zac Efron, and this is when he's wearing the Circus Masters outfit at the end, and he looks incredible. Seriously, this is a toot. I think it works slightly better for Hugh Jackman, P.T. Barnum, but is still an incredible look. I love the top hat. I love. I just love that look of the red, black, and gold. Seriously, it's so cool, so cute, and so is he. Look at him there, seriously gorgeous toot, look at him there, absolute gorgeous smile, oh my god, toot, look at him there, pensive, thinking, sexy, oh my god, toot. Next we have his girlfriend, Anne Wheeler, oh my god, seriously, on the hoops, doing all the gymnasts, incredible anyway, but this look is absolutely gorgeous toot but actually yeah I'm gonna give it a shoot because I love the colour with the sort of rhinestone sparkles and then the skin body colour for the arms and legs pink hair seriously it's such a cute look absolute shoot she looks absolutely stunning as well face painted oh my god the lip goes perfect with the hair colour seriously and she's just absolutely stunning and finally we can't go without talking about Hugh and Zach's outfits for the rest of the film because obviously they aren't just wearing the circus masters outfit and they have a very typical olden day working men's suit going on. It's very cute. I love them both. This illustration shows it perfectly from the other side part of the film in the bar which is such a cool scene anyway. This is a double toot. I live for it. They both look so cool. They've got their long 
sideburns going on, which is a typical look. Zach looks incredible. That booty, can we just say right now? Seriously. Top two of the week is between P.T. Barnum's Circus Masters outfit and Jenny Lynn's absolutely gorgeousness of a dress. Girl, oh my god, I just can't pick because, like, they're two completely different looks as well. Seriously, she is so elegant, gorgeous, perfect. The dress is so stunning. A beautiful colour, fit, everything. She's a princess and... P.T. Barnum Circus Master, seriously, it's so sleek, I love the colour, it's incredible, it's so cool, it's such a staple of a look, I love them both, oh my god. I think top two of the week is going to have to go to P.T. Barnum because it is such a typical, incredible look that we all know and love and became a staple going forward and it's such a cool mix of colours, I love the red, black and gold, seriously, and it fits in so well. Zac Efron is absolutely stunning. But I do think it looks better on Hugh Jackman, like, a little bit more, and it suits him better. So, top two of the week is for P.T. Barnum. Seriously, it's such a good look. Like, all of these looks are so incredible. Well done to the wardrobe team of the film, seriously. Like, I, this isn't even all the looks from the film, but I just pretty much picked the best main look from each character and I just live seriously. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will be back next Wednesday for another Toot and Boot episode and on Sunday for another live reaction so stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching. Bye guys. It's a cool cover actually. I like it. Oh my god, Manila's on. I just live. This is one of the best looks, one of her best looks. She just looks incredible. I'm. This is a shoot. Oh my god, seriously. We have the necklace with the drip in it. It's like, oh my god, it's like icicles hanging down situation. And so is the gown as well.